We are still on the countdown to the World Rally Championship at the Safari Rally Kenya, where memories of were made of, among others, Amze Wakazi Aza Anwar, who's been there, done that with the Safari Rally when it was still around of the World Rally Championship. And now, after 19 years, it is back in Kenya. And we meet him in Karen at his garage. Aza, we are actually sitting on one of your cars, 1982. <laughs> Some of you are not even born. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Um, this car was uh, the first car that I got brand new. And it was it came here especially for the Safari Rally. At that time, Safari Rally was World Champion Rally Championship. And uh, it was a new model we had not seen. We were so excited at that time. And in 1981, I finished the Safari in an old car as a first timer. Yeah. In 1982, with a brand new car, we didn't manage to finish. It fell apart. <laughs> 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 so that that uh, is part of the journey to to where I've come, which is uh, you know learning about what a normal car from the factory is. Yes, it could be fast, it could have performance, but it may not survive the safari rally. So you have to adapt them, and you have to develop them with a lot of work. And we did. We in 1988 with this self same car, uh, we were second in the this category in the Kenya Championship with Abdul Sidi. He was my navigator for the whole season, 1988. So we I, we learned what to, to modify on it, how to make the car stronger, more reliable, survive uh, uh, Africa conditions. You know, they are tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our roads are tough. That is why Safari is famous. <laughs> I remember very clearly 1995, 1998, oh, at the traditional starting place and finishing place at the KICC. Uh, you were doing very well in the Safari Rally, uh, and uh, the crowds uh, used to love you. Tell me about those uh, two events. Uh, that is that is something I really, really thank God. I've been blessed. Uh, I have had good support uh, from uh, uh, Kenyans, enthusiasts who love rallying. And uh, in, in my own way that I'm now, I want to give back to motorsport and uh, support enthusiasts. So it was very, very exciting days because those days we were young. We were learning, uh, we were trying to get used to new type of cars and uh, ch the challenge of the safari, you know, it was tough at that time, it was very long. So you had to really know how to survive in the, in the events. And uh, it, it was all about, uh, more about endurance. Nowadays it's like a sprint. So what you will, we will see this year in the safari is actually a sprint. Very short, very fast uh, sections and uh, they are not even on public roads like we used to rally. It's only in private land. All the competition of the safari this year will only be on private ranches and private areas where normal traffic is not allowed. And that of course is for safety because the cars are now going at tremendous speeds and uh, it is not really possible to have like uh, Boda Bodas and Matatos and so on on the same road would have accidents and of course we don't want accidents. Before you talk about the cars, uh, Azar, how many Safari Rally uh, WRC have you participated in and how many have you finished or uh, gotten special recognition because uh, you did quite a lot? You know, I, I haven't kept a, rec a track. <laughs> <laughs> I've done so many, but I was uh, quite uh, happy to see. Recently there was a, a list that we saw, we got in social media. I lead actually the world in uh, people who have done safari rallies, I've done 26. I've started 26 events and uh, uh, even uh, people like Shekamata and all those famous drivers, Joginda and what, what they had done actually less uh, total number of events in their careers uh, as to the safari rally. So I'm very tempted to do a few more. <laughs> you retired, if no, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, I took a sabbatical. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> you know that <laughs> in it, it's in your blood, you are itching always to it's get infectious. back in car. <laughs> you are, we are talking about these cars and I'm feeling like going racing again. <laughs> Actually it's true because when you, when you think about the Safari Rally, it belongs to the country. It is like our heritage and now it's back and everybody is looking forward to it. I think it's sort of, uh, what do you call it, like um, addiction. You get addicted to it, like you say, you retired and now you, you still want to come back or you want to do the Safari Rally. <laughs> maybe maybe just the safari rally because the safari rally is so big <laughs> it would be nice to i don't think i would be trying to win but uh, i would love to drive 
So, Azar, are you saying, because uh, you are saying you are not yet done with the <laughs> leg <laughs> after retiring, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you competing in the safari rally? <laughs> no, not, I'm not competing this year. I've uh, been uh, uh, working on uh, trying to be the zero car, which is the safety car just ahead of the rally cars. And it's a very, very key position. And uh, we, we have been in training because now the WRC is being run to a totally WRC standard, the Safari Rally. So we have to, to learn how things work, um, that there's a big team, many cars that will run ahead of the rally. And the most crucial one is the one that is just ahead of the rally cars, which is called the Zero Car. And that has to be driven by an experienced <laughs> rally driver. So I, I expect to drive that. And of course, uh, when you talk about uh, the Zero Car, we were there during the Equator Rally. Uh, just walk with me. Yeah. We were, uh, you were there during the Equator Rally that was a dress a rehearsal for the rally. Yes. Now, when you talk about the Safari Rally then and the Safari Rally now, how different is it? What should uh, our, our, our viewers expect from what you are going to see in this year's event? Because uh, the World Rally Championship has really changed. It's totally a different thing from what we used to see back then in very the Easter holidays. Very true, very true. That, that is the most important thing I think uh, the public need to know is uh, rallying has changed completely. Um, because of safety uh, and because the car speeds have become very high and they are, there's a lot of traffic on the roads, things like Boda Bodas, Matatus, public, it is no more safe for rally cars to go at that sort of speed on public road. So because of that now, the, no part of the safari will actually run on public road, meaning open roads. They will be on closed roads. Closed means private. Private roads like big ranches and so on, where it's possible to close off a section of the road from normal traffic. We can't close it from animals. That still makes it very exciting for <laughs> wild animals and mm. so on. And that is one of the things that has brought back the World Rally Championship to us, that uh, people overseas cannot imagine that you could be racing and there are zebras <laughs> and <laughs> you know other wild animals, giraffes and whatnot, and, and they are watching you. <laughs> so that, that is what is unique about the safari. And uh, what is different as far as Kenyans are concerned, that it is now not easily, the cars are not passing through every, all the towns and villages and so on. It is just centered mostly around Naivasha. So Naivasha will be the base. And uh, in Naivasha, the government has built a very big uh, service park. Because it's the, in, uh, in World Rally Championship nowadays, the service park is only in one place. Because it's the, the, the teams have sophisticated themselves so much to be able to do very highly uh, technical stuff on the rally cars so they, they, they sell, literally make a workshop they come and set up a workshop they come with all the equipment and whatnot and it's it's a computerized standard workshop so so they 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 need the car to come back there for them to set it up again to go and race again so the the rally is organized in what is called a clover leaf pattern they start from there they do a loop come back they are done service they go and do another loop so on the loop they might get something like just remote fuel it's called uh, remote uh, away from this the only thing that they are allowed to get on that place is maybe fuel and tires or something like that so they but to be serviced and to be repaired the car has to to reach the service park and that is what actually results in some people retiring because they are not able to get back mm -hmm. and even when they are out somebody else outside cannot help them that you have already gotten used to in the kenya championship we have been trying to to do things in the world championship style is that if the car has a problem it's only the driver the navigator and what you are carrying in the car we carry tools, some spare parts and so on. If those things are, are, you are not able to fix the car within a very short time, then you are time barred, you are out of the rally. That is how rallying runs nowadays. In the old days, we could be nine hours behind the, the leading cars and we are still in the rally and I was, I was still winning my class at that time. Like you nine did. Nine hours behind. <laughs> Like you did. Let's now talk about, as I cross over to the other side, you can have a seat. I'll be the navigator in a steel car. Uh, <laughs> talk about uh, the, the, talking about the, the World Rally Championship now. And the cars. And actually one of the developers. Uh, tell us the difference.
It's a good feeling to get back in the car and... <laughs> oh, I've jumped into it like a normal car. Um, this car has won its class in the Safari Rally, I think 97. In 96, when we built it, uh, it has done the Africa Championship. And we were second overall in the Africa Championship. It has rallied in South Africa, Zimbabwe, uh, Kenya, Uganda, and places like that. Um, so uh, it, it's it's uh, it's a good piece of nostalgia. But it still runs. It still starts <laughs> and drives. And I, I've kept it. I've looked after it. <laughs> uh, I use it uh, for now for training the newcomers. Um, and uh, we we do that under uh, an, a new organization I've uh, been trying to build up called the AAM Academy, which is Azar Anwar Motorsport Academy. Uh, you can go to the website uh, online and uh, book for those who are interested. You're most welcome. We will try and guide you on to how to get into motorsport and how to race and how to build cars. Uh, that's what the AAM Academy is about. It's great that uh, Azar Anwar Motorsports Academy is um, giving opportunities to um, enthusiasts to uh, be involved in various aspects of um, of um, you know the motorsports in the country in various areas, um, be it those who are interested in in competing. There's guidance uh, for those who are interested in maybe volunteering in um, organizing or in service crews. So for me, I've gotten a chance to get support on uh, on uh, how to build my car and to be competitive, and trying to always find improvements and. Uh, there's a lot of experience from uh, Muzawa Kazi as Anwar. Okay, let's talk about what you're doing now ahead of the World Rally Championship. Uh, we've seen you develop cars uh, before from scratch, even yours, you have done it like we've seen in this garage. And you're developing some cars for the World Rally Championship, uh, which we are all looking for as a two. And uh, I think uh, you can share something. <laughs> you can share yes, as, yes. Uh, some uh, of the developments. Okay, yeah. the, the big news, uh, there's big news, is that uh, for many years I have been trying to convince. Uh, motor companies that uh, rather than spending a lot of money and buying very expensive cars from overseas that also need um, technicians from overseas to come and uh, prepare, uh, prepare those cars. I have managed all throughout my time is to build cars locally here. And uh, I, have, I think it's a great blessing for Kenya that uh, Toyota Motor Corporation of Japan uh, they recognized uh, our history, they took up the challenge. It was like a challenge I gave them that we can, we can actually prepare cars in uh, Kenya for the WRC. And uh, we have received uh, two new model Toyota Yaris rally cars, which they're not rally cars, they're actually normal cars, which it is our job now to adapt them to work in the Safari Rally. We have already started working on that. And that is something very, very exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, it is the car of the future. Because currently in Africa, in uh, Kenya, most of the drivers, they are running very old vehicles, the Mitsubishi Evolutions and the Subaru STIs, which are now outdated. So we have to now keep up and we have to get in with uh, the latest cars. And for this, I'm appealing for support from uh, the government in the form of uh, exemptions and uh, actually to support this budding local industry that we want to build up, which is just creating our cars locally here. And uh, we have done that for the last 35 years. I have even won the safari, I've won Kenya Championship. So it is very possible we can build cars that can be winners. We can build them here locally. So you'd better watch out. You never know who will be driving one of these cars in the World Rally Championship. I'm made in Kenya. <laughs> For Kenya? By Mzewa Kazi. <laughs> Parting short, as uh, because I will be keeping you in touch uh, with the developments at his workshop because we are really looking forward to that uh, car or cars. <laughs> uh, so what is your parting short as, uh, as uh, we head toward the big one, the Safari Rally in Kenya back after 19 years? Okay, the, for the public, uh, the easiest way to know what is going on in the rally is to follow the rally online. So wherever you are, you can just uh, go to, on your phone, on your laptop or whatever, you get the link and uh, you can actually follow it live. There will be live tracking on all the cars. Uh, you, on a map, you can see the movement of the cars on in live 
real time you'll know when a car has stopped when it has a problem it will be uh, it will be the best way to follow the car cars because uh, you can uh, literally see them in all the stages and uh, of course uh, i'm sure you will yes be kbc i was <laughs> waiting for you to say that <laughs> kbc will be you broadcasting will be it live <laughs> as we uh, did all those yesteryears uh, as a to pigi bebe i attend the kazi i don't have my safety belt you know <laughs> and safety comes first in the rally and safety, safety comes, comes first exactly yes. always a drive safe i'll be putting on my belt belt first <laughs> this one round yeah okay yes there you are then you are there <laughs>